Hello everyone, Fred here. Thanks for stopping by today. Welcome back to the Camping Family Channel. It's the beginning of the 2023 camping season. I thought I'd kick this off with a couple uh, questions answered on the Thomas Paine sofa bed that we have in here. I'm out here in our 2004 Fleetwood Flare. And let's go through those questions right now. There are three of them that have been posted. Very good questions. First one was, what is the width of your door to get in? Good question. And the second question, actually two and three were, exactly how wide is the sofa? Is there any give whatsoever with cushions? Third question was, how hard was it to pull through the buckles, through the cushions? So let's take a look at that. All three are very good questions. Okay, first question, how wide is my door frame? Let's take a look here. Let me get this out, line it up. There you have it. 24 and three quarter, exactly. 24 and three quarter. And from what I recall, it went in, I didn't have any issue, let's put it that way. So somehow I, I shimmied it in. Uh, I took it out of the box and it was in a couple different pieces and just uh, shimmied in here. Didn't really have any issues. Okay, on the next question. Okay, the second question. Exactly how wide is the sofa bed and is there any give whatsoever? So that question is going to come about um, in reference to is there any give in the cushion? If you look down here, if I can get the camera in here and enough light, the cushion goes right to the to the frame here. There's no overhang whatsoever. I don't know if I can get a better angle of that. It is pretty much straight up and down. There is no give. The wood is right behind the padding. So very little give. This side, you may, may be able to see that a little bit better. It is straight up and down here. Very little give. There's no overhang on the top pad. So that being said, where are we at exactly side to side? So, again, let me try to get a measurement for you on this side to side here. Doing this one handed, I'm going to say, I'm going to safely say you need at least. I'll tell you what, 67 and three quarters to be safe. 68 is what you really want. Yeah, somewhere in there. You really want 68 on this model. I don't know if they make a, uh, I think there is actually three models of this, maybe one that's a little shorter. But see, I actually had I mean, I'm up against the wood over there. I'm, I actually had 69 and a half inches to play with. So that's where I'm at. You really need 68 and a half to be safe, I believe I said. Um, yeah, it's tight. If you had 67 and a half, I would say you may not make it. But uh, there you are. That's the width. Last question was in reference to pulling up the buckles. All right, for that question, we need to pull the sofa cushions off and we'll pull out the bed. <laughs> and if you look there, buckles are sitting right there. Easy, easy peasy. <laughs> All you have to do is it takes two people. I can't do it right now with one handed, but just bring up the buckles and then fold your sofa or fold the fold the bottom up. So once you feed the buckles up, they would be right behind uh, the bottom cushion. And then all you have to do is put your your back cushions up and the buckles would be sitting right here. 
So buckles are not an issue at all using this. All right, as you saw, three great questions. Still enjoy that sofa. Um, it's really comfortable. We keep a cover on it just so it has, <laughs> the cover catches all the dust and dirt, <laughs> you know, when you have kids and company and stuff, uh, keeps it nice. So it still looks brand new. I, I couldn't say more about it. So I hope I answered the questions that were presented thoroughly. If you have any other follow-ups, just let me know. And uh, maybe I'll post another video. All right. So everybody take care. We'll see you on the next one.